Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week and now is a great time to subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all of my new videos. For today, I'm going to be doing a review of Harney and Sons Paris tea. I have this clear glass mug from Crate and Barrel. I love how it has this cute little like foot on the bottom here. I love this shape of mugs. It's so like fancy, perfect for Paris. And then I have my metal basket infuser. I actually saw these on Amazon. In 2020, I took my first steps towards having a tea brand of my own. That's my big dream, is to launch a full line of tea and tea wear. And this little guy is just the beginning. I wanted my first product to be something that is basically essential for tea lovers. When I got my first metal basket infuser, it really changed everything for me. It really like launched me into my tea obsession. They're just easy to use, easy to clean, they're durable and they can't really like break. So you don't ever really have to replace it. And it's just good for making like cup after cup after cup of delicious tea. So if you are in need of one of these, it's always linked in my description box. So let's get this steeping. Let's open it up. Pour in our water. All right, now we can set it to the side and check out the loose tea and see what we can find out about Harney and Sons Paris. It smells so good. When I first got this tea, I got it in my Sip Spy advent calendar. I thought it was going to be like similar to an Earl Grey. So I was like, oh, I'm probably not going to like this because I'm not super into Earl Grey. But then I read the ingredients and they are black tea, oolong tea, vanilla flavor, black currant flavor, bergamot oil, caramel flavor, and contains natural flavors and character, it says this infusion is a delicate blend of currant, caramel, and citrus meant to arouse the senses. So that is not really at all like a typical Earl Grey. So I got super intrigued. I like teas with black currant, like that's an ingredient. I always, I always see it in like a fruity context though, like with other fruits and like hibiscus and things, but I do like the taste of black currants. And then I saw like the vanilla, caramel, there's oolong in there. So it's definitely not an Earl Grey. I thought it was just gonna be like a French take on an Earl Grey, but not at all. And then here on the back of the package, there's a little bit of information about Harney and Sons. It says from tea garden to tea cup. In 1983, John Harney, master tea blender, embarked on a mission to share his love for tea. Harney and Sons Tea Selection offers over 200 varieties of the highest quality leaves. The Harney family personally sourced their tea from the most reputable established estates and gardens throughout Asia and India, accepting only the exceptional. Ever since I learned that bergamot is one of the main flavors in Fruit Loops, every time I smell bergamot now, I think of Fruit Loops. Like, I just... I can't unsmell it now that I know that. But let's take a look at how it looks. I smell the black currant a lot and I really, really like that. So here is how it looks. We can't see much besides just what looks like black tea. So let's dump it out on a plate and get a better look at it. There's still not a whole lot to see because the vanilla and the black currant and the caramel are flavors and the bergamot is an oil. So I guess it makes sense that all we can see are the black and oolong tea leaves. So I see a lot of black tea. It's a lot of like those smaller pieces, but then here is a piece of oolong. It's one of those like twisty boys. I love oolong. I dream of visiting Paris. Like that would be, that would seriously be a dream come true to get to go to like La Durée and have macarons and drink tea and see the Eiffel Tower. Like that's definitely on my list. I hope someday soon I'll at least have like an idea of when we can do the big trips that we wanted to do. Hopefully uh, including 
Europe and Paris. But let's go on Harney and Sons website to see what other information we can find about this tea. So here is the main picture when I go to the Paris page. I really love their tins. Look how beautiful and elegant that looks. It's like that like square and rectangle shape and just that gold and white and blue is just so gorgeous. All right, so here it says, Mike Harney has enjoyed many a pot of tea in the famous Parisian tea shops. In homage to the city, he created what's become one of Harney and Sons most popular and beloved blends worldwide. Paris is a fruity black tea with vanilla and caramel flavors and a hint of lemony bergamot. The aroma is delightful. So I like that because it's like saying that the bergamot is just a hint of lemony bergamot. So I'm not thinking this is gonna be like over the top bergamot cause that's just not like, I just personally don't really like it. And then there's a little bit more information here. Details. Mike has spent many a fine day and a few nights enjoying the charms of Paris. In fact, his wife Brigitte is from Paris so when he got the chance to return to the city, he created this lovely fruity blend. Like the city and also his wife, it is very complex. However, the results are very popular. It says four to five minutes for the steep time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the infuser just so we don't oversteep it. It's a black tea, so it's not super sensitive, but I still just, I like to get the perfect steep for a first impression. Look at that beautiful like golden brown color, so pretty. All right, let's get back into the About Us page. A passion for tea. Sometimes when you follow your passion, amazing things happen. Our story is that story. John Harney, founder and president. There he is. It's been nearly four decades since John Harney developed a passion for fine teas. John began his journey in mastering the art of tea blending in his basement. The proprietor of an inn at the time, John served his distinctive blends to his guests and the rest, as they say, is history. Today, the Harney family carries the torch passed to them by the founder of their family business with a bottling plant, warehouse, two stores, and a thriving international e-commerce business John's passion lives on in his family. Wow, so it shows like his whole family and what they do. All of their last names are Harney. That's really cool. Ah, oh, it's like the dream to be able to have a business like that and work like with the people you love. Here's his son, Mike, his son, Paul, Elise Harney, Brigitte, his wife. Yeah, that's really, really cool. RT, classic to exotic. Harney & Sons offers over 300 varieties of the highest quality teas sourced from the finest tea regions around the world. Our blends include classics like Earl Grey, our signature flavors like hot cinnamon spice and Paris, several varieties of matcha, more adventurous teas like bamboo, and everything in between. No matter which tea you choose, our expertise and commitment to quality are brewed into each cup. We are proud to carry Fairtrade certified teas, supporting fair trade practices around the world that promote sustainable livelihoods, safe working conditions, protection of the environment, and strong transparent supply chains. In addition, we have partnered for over 10 years with 1% for the Planet, donating 1% of our sales to environmental organizations across the globe. Thank you for helping us support these efforts. All right, nothing left to do but to try the tea. It's nice. I mostly taste the black currant, so it's not like it's not like that Earl Grey, so it's it's good. If I really try to taste the bergamot, I can. But for the most part, like the first things I notice are the black currant and the black tea. I'm trying to imagine what it would be like to be sitting in like a Paris cafe. I'm trying to like, you know, visualize and manifest. Take a sip and take like a little bite of a macaron. That's like my dream. It's really nice. It's probably not something I would specifically like look for again. I'm not as crazy about black tea bases, like in blends, like, 
I would rather go for something like if this was just an oolong, I might like it a little bit more. It's it's sort of a bold black tea for me, you know, a little bit bolder in black tea flavor than I'd normally go for. But it it's really nice. I really love the black currant, but that little tiny hint of bergamot actually does something nice to it. Like it adds sort of a top note. I'm kind of wishing I could taste more of the caramel though. Like I don't really notice a caramel caramely note right away. It might be like an undertone. I feel like the caramel and the vanilla probably really just play a support role to the black currant and the black tea. And then the bergamot really just adds that nice bright top note. I mean, this works for someone like me who doesn't like Earl Grey. There's a lot more to it than the bergamot. It doesn't taste like a bergamot black tea, like just a regular Earl Grey or anything like that. It really is like black currant focused. Which is really nice with the black tea. I like it. I don't think I'd buy it again just because I really do prefer like a green or an oolong base. Like I don't really go for a whole lot of black tea blends unless it's a chai. But I do like it much more than I initially expected upon like receiving it and assuming it was an Earl Grey. I'm glad I gave it a try because it's not at all what I imagined it would be. But it still just wouldn't really be something that I would reach for again. So that's the beauty of Sip Spy because I got this in my Sip Spy advent calendar. It gives you the chance to try things because in their like boxes and their advent calendar, they include samples from all different brands of all different teas. So you get the opportunity to try something new, like something that you wouldn't have picked for yourself because you didn't, they picked it for you. So I really love that. It's like, it's seriously like an adventure getting to try a new couple teas every month. Discovering different brands that you didn't know. I mean, I think we've all tried Harney and Sons at some point. They are huge, they're very successful, very popular. But I'm glad I got to try their Paris tea and of course I'll finish off what I have, but hopefully next time I drink this can actually be in Paris. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Harney and Sons Paris Tea. If you made it this far through the video, let me know your biggest travel dream. What is the place that you've always wanted to go? Like what is your top of your list? Like if someone told you, you get a free plane ticket anywhere in the world that you'd like to go, where would it be? For me, as much as I wanna visit Europe, I really, really wanna to go to Asia. Our big goal after we got married, me and my husband, was to go to the Philippines so I can see where he grew up and, and meet his family that is still back there. And Japan, those were the two, like our two top spots that we wanted to do most. So I'm really hoping things turn around and we'll be able to start planning that trip. But let me know your dream trip. Where would you go? I hope your new year has started on a beautiful note. I hope you and all of your families are staying safe and healthy and I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.